All right, so for number three, we have a storage container consists of a box with length 90 centimeters, width 42 centimeters, and height 34 centimeters. See? They also tell us that it has a lid in the shape of a half cylinder as shown in the diagram. The lid fits the top of the box exactly. And that the total exterior surface of this storage container is to be painted and to find the area to be painted. So, if the total exterior of the storage container is to be painted, then we're talking about the da -da -da, surface area. See, my, get, my biggest like hint for surface area is think about picking up your shape, dumping it in chocolate, taking it out, and seeing what is covered in chocolate in the end. And so the first step we have to take is take a moment, imagine that, and see what sides of my shape are being covered. And that is the area that we will have to find. So we don't have to find the area of like, say, this rectangle and this rectangle and this one and this. Like, you don't have to find the area of absolutely everything. And so you really have to take a moment and think about what areas do I need, which ones do I not. See? For example, I think it's easier to say which ones do you not need. You do not need this one there because it's not going to get hit by the chocolate. And... And that's it, quite literally. Cierto? So we need every single shape except for the one that I just, you know, drew an X on. See? So there's a couple simple ones. Let's start with those. We will go for, let's say, this guy here. Cierto? So this guy here, we are talking about a rectangle. So we know that it's 42 times something. So that something is this height here. This height here is the same as this height here, which is 34. Cierto? So we have 42 times 34. And we take a moment and notice that since because it's a box, then that square here is the same. I mean, sorry, that rectangle there is the same as that rectangle there. So we have 42 times 34 twice, right? All right, cool. What about the other side, cierto? Let's finish up with the box. So we have this guy here. So I'm talking about that rectangle there, cierto? What are the parameters of that guy? Well, we know that this 90 here is the same as that 90 there, cierto? So it's going to be 90 times the height, cierto? We already saw that the height is 34, see? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably catching on to it. This happens twice, cierto? It happens with this rectangle there and this rectangle over on this end, see? All right, now we're going to talk about the one that's like flat on the bottom. I'll use another color because it's getting a little complicated. So I'm talking about that rectangle here, cierto? So what are the parameters of that guy? It's much more straightforward. We're talking about this 42 times 90, cierto? The ones that are already highlighted there, 42 and 90. And this is where a lot of people say, or they, you know, tunnel vision, and they say two. Why is it not two? Take a moment. Why is it not two? Because, as I said earlier, if I dump this guy in chocolate, what does not get painted? Tony, Tony, this does not get painted. See? This does not get painted, so instead of two rectangles, in this case, we are talking about one. See? I know it's a little bit unnecessary to put this one here, because one times 42 times 90 is like nothing's going to change. But intuitively, I would leave it. See? It's easier to think about it if you just kind of leave it. See? So that is in respect to the box. Now we are talking about the cylinder. Now the cylinder gets a little bit more, it gets more juicy. Cierto? So first of all, Almost no one knows the formula area for a cylinder by memory, and so let's pull it up, see? So the area of a cylinder is here, see? So the area of a curved surface of a cylinder is A equals 2 pi R H, see? So I'm going to talk about that in a moment, but I got it from the formula booklet, see? Know that your formula booklet has all of this stuff. So surface area curved side, cierto? Cylinder is... Um, bum, bum, bum. A equals 2 pi R H. So let's go with this guy first. See? Since we're talking about the curved surface area of a cylinder, notice the keyword curved. See? So curved is going to be, well, all of the part that's curved, right? So it does not, ladies and gentlemen, it does not include this circle here or that circle over there. We are all only talking about the curved part. So having that in mind, well, what is the radius? What is the height? So the radius 
easier one to see probably is in respect to this circle here ¿cierto? so this radius we're talking about that guy there ¿cierto? now that guy there ¿cierto? this line that I just drew is equal to that guy there is equal to that guy there because this is all the same radius is equal to that guy there Ooh la la. All right, there's something going on there, ¿cierto? So this radius that I just drew, drew here looks pretty convenient, right? Why is it convenient? Well, because this 42 here, I can cut it in two, and that's going to give me that value there, ¿cierto? Let's remember that what I'm looking at is this whole thing is 42, ¿cierto? So if I want to find just the radius here, I'm going to take 42 divided by 2, 21. So my radius is going to be 21. See? All right, cool. So the radius of my cylinder is 21. So I have um, 2 pi times 21 times, oops, I forgot the 1, times 21 times h. So I still need h. ¿cierto? What the heck is h in this case? Well, a cylinder ¿cierto? is usually going to look something like this. See? And so the height is very easy to understand in that sense. It's just this guy here. The thing is, this cylinder is kind of like on its side, ¿cierto? And so the height is actually going to be what we would think of as the length, ¿cierto? And so that is what's going on here. The height is like, you know, like our cylinder fell over and now it looks like this, ¿see? So the height is going to be what goes alongside it, which is this 90 here, because this 90 I can pull it up. It's This 90 is the same as that 90 down there, ¿see? So my height, all of that I just explained to say that my height is 90. So I'm going to plug in 90 over here. See? All right. Some of you are probably thinking this guy got it wrong. If you did, good job. If you didn't, take a moment and tell me why would this be wrong? Why, why, why would this be wrong? This is wrong because this surface, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> because my formula for the surface area of the curved side of a cylinder is for a whole cylinder. ¿Cierto? Ladies and gentlemen, here we are dealing with a half cylinder. With a half cylinder. And so I gotta take this bad boy, this formula right here, divided by two to find the surface area of half a cylinder. So if I take this guy divided by two, this goes away with this. I end up with just pi 21 times 90. See? And so this right here, which I will draw in, let's say green, ¿cierto? is the surface that we're talking about there, right? The only thing I'm missing are my two circles. All right, so now we have to do the area of a circle, ¿cierto? And so well, we pull up the formula booklet. The area of a circle is highlighted right there, ¿cierto? So A equals pi times R squared. See where R is the radius. So area circle, right, we said was pi r squared. So we mentioned way earlier that our our r was 21. ¿cierto? So I'm going to have plus pi times 21 squared. See? Now this is one circle. ¿cierto? Notice that we have two circles. See? So I'm going to make sure that I have a 2 over here. Right? Because we're talking about two circles. But same as before, we are talking about half a circle. ¿cierto? Because it's a half cylinder, we also have half a circle. So this is actually divided by 2. See, you can put this into your calculator and it works just as it is, but knowing fractions, this two goes away with this two and we end up with just that, ¿cierto? Anyways, you plug all of this into your calculator and you end up with the value of 20, 100 centimeters squared. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do number three. Don't forget the units. This is squared because we're talking about area. If it were volume, it would be cubed. And if it's distance, it is to the power of 1. Just like these guys here, they are all to the power of 1. We don't write it down because it's not necessary. See? But yeah, that is, that is number 3.